A painter starts a fiscal period with 30 tins of paint valued at $12 each. During the period, he purchases another 50 tins for $13 each, and then later purchases 20 tins at $14 each. At the end of the period, he has 40 tins remaining. What is the cost of goods sold for the period and the values of the opening and closing inventories? Use both the FIFO and LIFO methods. First, we'll solve the problem using FIFO. To start with, we need to know the value of the opening inventory. Now we said that we had 30 tins that cost $12 each. So it's quite simple, 30 times 12 equals $360 worth of paint. Now we need to work out how much money does the painter spend. So the painter has spent $13 for 50 tins, plus later he spent $14 for another 20 tins. which is equal to 650 plus 280, which gives us a total of 930. Now, at the end of the month, he has 40 tins. So if we're using FIFO, that means that these tins are the newest tins. So if they're the newest tins, they're the most recent ones we bought. So 20 of them will be the $14, and there must be another 20 tins, which must be out of this group. So closing inventory, is going to be these 20 tins plus, and since we said there's 40 tins, it must be 20 of the next oldest tins. So that's going to be 20 of them times $13, which gives us Two hundred and eighty plus two hundred and sixty, which is equal to five hundred and forty. Okay, now we just need to work out what is our cost of goods sold. So our cost of goods sold is equal to the opening inventory, so that's 360, plus the money we spent, which is 930, minus the value of our closing inventory, because we didn't make anything using that, that's paint that we still have. So minus 500, and $40, which gives us $700, which gives us $750. Okay, for LIFO, the opening inventory is going to stay the same. Um, the amount that we've spent, of course, stays the same. However, the closing inventory is going to be different, and so will our cost of goods sold. So let's recalculate them. 
This time we're going to calculate using LIFO, the last in, first out method. As we said, the opening inventory has not changed. And similarly, the amount that the paper spent has not changed. The difference is the closing inventory, what we're going to do is instead of assuming that these 40 tins are our newest tins, we're going to assume that the 40 tins are our oldest tins. So the oldest tins we have is this 30 tins that we started with. So we've got 30 times 12 plus we've got 40 minus 30 means there's 10 tins that we still have to account for. And so they must be the oldest ones we bought. So they will be the ones we bought at $13 each. So it'll be plus 10 times 13, which gives us 360 plus 130, which ends up being 490. Now, when we calculate our cost of goods sold, as before, we start with our opening inventory, so our 360, plus the extra money that we spent on buying new tins, which is 930, minus the amount that we have left of paint valued based on the oldest values, so that's 490 which gives us a total of $800. Now, in this case, our cost of goods sold is higher than it was in the FIFO case. It's higher than it was in the FIFO case because the cost of our paint is getting higher. By using LIFO, we're assuming that we're using the more expensive paint. Now, generally speaking, that means we get to use $800 as a tax deduction instead of using the, five, the $750 that we had last time as our expense. So in this particular example, LIFO gives us a better outcome because the prices are going up.